Hello, ladies! Thank you so much for inviting me to your amazing day. I can't tell you how honored I am to be a part of this day. Veterans hold a sincere place in my heart. My grandpa was in the Air Force and I can still remember when we were little, we weren't allowed to go into his one working room because he would be building all these models of planes in there. Thank you so much for having me today. Now you might be wondering why I'm not standing in front of you and I'm actually in a closet. The very first thing that people say when they get slightly interested in my services is, oh my gosh, there is no way I would let you or anyone in my closet. So I thought, I am going to reverse that and I'm going to have you in my closet. You can see behind me, it's already not perfect by far. I'm pretty impressed that my side still looks really good. My husband's side's a little disheveled, but still, for the most part, I'm pretty impressed with us. <laughs> I'm going to start right off the bat with that whole vulnerability concept. Now, I'm bringing you into my closet, and this is extremely vulnerable for me. Not because I'm not an open book, because unfortunately that is exactly what I am, but because as an image consultant, I feel that I need to be here, that I have to be on a pedestal in order to help people get through their obstacles with their wardrobe. Can everybody actually physically stand up right now and show me and the rest of us who would be intimidated to have me or any image consultant in their closet? Yep, not joking, just stand up. While you're standing, I want to know if everyone understands what an image consultant does or a branding coach. So can stay standing, kind of look around the room. Now an image consultant is someone who helps you prepare your best self. So we are polishing the exterior so that your interior can be received to the fullest amount. Because as we know, the most important thing about a person, hands down, is what's on the inside. Take one last look around, look at your peers. I'm guessing the majority of you are standing up. You can go ahead and sit back down. <laughs> but know that you're not alone. So we all must have extremely messy closets. Oh, isn't it funny, when you really think about it, how much time and money we put into the way our home looks. However, how many people in a day do we see and see our own, our bodies, our hair, our face? Head to toe, how many people are seeing us I'm going to guess it's probably 10 times, if not 100 times, more than the people who actually see our home. Now, why are we fixated on making sure that our homes show us in a way and create this image of us when we really don't put that same effort into our personal appearance or our personal brand? This is where the crossover becomes from a, an image standpoint into a branding tool. So what I work on is, again, honing that interior. So who do you want to be? What do you want to be known for? You have to understand what you want in life, who you are, before you can really project that to people. So we all stood up. We realized we're all nervous about how others view us. And we want to make sure that no one can see exactly maybe the dirtiness inside or the, the disheveled, the, the things that we don't plan on, the, the true inner us. Yet, we know we are dead positive, there's been studies that are shown, that showing vulnerability is exactly what leads to happiness. Vulnerability is what shows people exactly who we are in our authenticity. Authenticity 
is huge in creating your own personal brand. What we need to do is really hone in on what those attributes are that others are drawn to and why they want to be close to us. So take maybe one minute and actually write down your attributes that you have heard others compliment you on, or you know you can feel it, that people are drawn to you when you are this. What are your attributes? Write those down right now. All right, now that you've thought about your attributes and what is specific to you that you know other people love about you, now think about the words that you would want others to use when describing you. So if you were in a group setting and you had just gotten up to use the restroom and a new person came in and the new person said, um, is anyone sitting here? They would say, um, yes, Leslie's sitting right here. And that person would say, um, oh, I, I don't think I've ever met her. Oh, yeah, you know, Leslie, she's. So think of those words. Think of five adjectives you want other people to use when describing you. All right, I'm gonna move on. If you have three, that's great. We're gonna worry and work on those later. But I do want you to have them and I even challenge you to email me with those adjectives. How do we polish the exterior so that they can receive our message? There are a few tips that you can follow. The first and foremost, hands down, most important thing that you need to do is make sure that your clothes fit. That means it doesn't matter to me where you shop. I take many of my clients to secondhand stores. Find quality goods because they last longer and then get them tailored. Tailoring a garment is your most impactful technique to elevating your image. Everything you own should be tailored. It is rare when we go shopping to actually pull something off the rack and say, this fits me perfectly. And you know it because you can probably think of something in your closet right now that actually fits you perfectly that you didn't take to the tailor and it makes you feel so good. That's what we want. We want you feeling so good every time you get dressed. It should never be a dreaded place. How we do that is we build our closet effectively. We know that size does not matter. The size tag seriously does not matter. If I can take a minute and have everyone that wears a size 10 stand up right now, just stand up. If you're a size 10, 12, 8, right around there, stand up. Thank you, ladies. Now look around. All of these different body shapes, heights, um, widths, all of us have to fit into this 8, 10, 12 range. And I say 8, 10, 12 because there's literally no rule in the fashion industry of what a size 8 should be. 
which is why we shouldn't care what's on the tag. But again, just look around at all these ladies who are fitting into the same size. Thank you, you can sit down now. When you're buying something, it should be a garment that you know works with your body type and that fits. So that is your number one assignment. The second assignment is I want you to put everything into style and then color. So if you have pants, put all your pants into the same area in the closet, then put them by color. So if you have three pairs of red pants, put all the reds together. And usually I will do them by length. So I will do them by, um, maybe I have capris and then I have ankle pants and then I have full long pants. That's how, that's what I'm talking about. Now we have our completely fitted clothes. We have them all by color combo. And now we're going to actually put our accessories on. So when you're building an outfit, you're going to start with a bottom, a top, hopefully a third layer, whether that's a jacket, a sweater, a vest, something that a belt, something that gives you a little bit more completion. And then you're going to work on your accessories. Accessories create the outfit. So one great tip is to count the pieces. You should have 15, 10 to 15 pieces on to look complete. And your earrings count as eaches, and you have to count your bra and underwear because I'm hoping that you all wear bra and underwear. So right now I have one, two earrings in, three my shirt, four my bra, five my undies, six my tights, seven my skirt, eight my shoes, nine, ten my bracelets, eleven, twelve my rings. Oh, and 13 my belt so there that quickly I've gotten up to 13 I want you to make sure that you can try to be vulnerable show who you are to people that's what's gonna reel them in that's where you're gonna find your confidence even though it seems like the scariest part that's where it's gonna be found remember those authentic attributes that you and only you alone hold Think about those every day. Thank, be thankful for them every day. Think about the adjectives that you want other people to use when describing you. Then create a happy closet. Make sure that everything in there fits. I can't stress this enough. Make sure it all fits. Take it to the tailor. It'll be perfect for you. Arrange your closet in color and style and then make sure you accessorize. So try to put at least 10 pieces on every time you get dressed before you leave the house. And this, ladies, is gonna create your brand quicker and elevate your image quicker than anything you could possibly spend your money on. This is where your confidence is gonna be found because you're gonna know that what's on the inside is being able to be fully received because you're polishing that exterior. Thank you so very much for having me. I have loved this time with you. I hope that I hear from you all. If you'd like to get in touch with me, my website is www.hillimage.com. You can call me. You can email me at leslie at hillimage.com. Follow me on Facebook. Whatever you want to do, I would love to hear from you. I want to know that you are feeling good about yourself. You can do it, especially after being able to kind of start over. You come in with a unique situation, not just um, being stripped a little of your identity by going through the services, but actually now you get to create exactly who you want to be. This is amazing opportunity for you. So many people don't have this opportunity. I would love to help you. So thank you so much again for having me. And I hope to see you or at least interact with you on either social media or by email or by phone call. Thank you so very much.